At the March 28th meeting of the Select Board, Chair Nico Papakonstantis congratulated Public Works Director Jennifer Perry for being awarded one of the top 20 Public Works Leaders for 2021 by the American Public Works Association. This award began being presented to Public Works Leaders in 1960. And I believe that Director Perry is probably the only director from Exeter to ever win this award. But I do know that since 1960, Director Perry is the only woman DPW director in New England to ever win this award. And that is very, very, very impressive, Jen. The board also accepted the resignation of Patrick Gordon, chair of the HDC, and thanked him for his long volunteer service to the town. I will miss him because he was our specialist in windows, <laughs> and, um, but he did a lot of good work, hard work for the commission, and, and uh, I'm sorry to see him go. Happy for his family, but sorry to see him go. Jen Perry updated the board on several projects going on at Public Works, including problems with staffing levels and several open positions. One major project is the Squamscott River Sewer Siphons Project. One of the key pieces, though, that we needed to have in place was a contingency plan, which is essentially an emergency response plan in the case of failure of the existing sewers. How are we going to maintain sewer flow? And so we have to have a bypass pump and piping system set up that would pump um, sewer from the J ba base of J.D. Hill across String Bridge to Water Street. And we do have that plan, it's still in draft, and we're submitting it to DES for their review and approval. But that work has all been ongoing, and um, we know that it will be complete by the end of this year. More information can be found on the Public Works website. Other items on the agenda included updates from the police on their need for an additional second lieutenant replacing a different position, updates from the fire department about projects that were recently approved at town meeting, statehouse updates from Julie Gilman, and a discussion about converting several tennis courts into pickleball courts. In October of 2021, our pickleball enthusiasts want more. <laughs> they came to the Rec Advisory Board asking uh, for us to consider uh, supporting their efforts to raise funds to convert the top three tennis courts into eight designated full-time pickleball courts. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> uh, just like Portsmouth, Dover, and Keene have already done, uh, they, uh, they put the money where their mouth was, and they, they succeeded. They raised approximately so far uh, uh, $35,400 to wow. go towards the $31,859 conversion of the tennis courts to the pickleball courts. You can watch the full meeting on our YouTube page and find more information on the Minutes and Agendas page.